Today I'm taking a look at a budget range of men's fragrances from high street retailer m and these all go under the uh, Discover brand name, uh, but they kind of split into two. And there's uh, seven standard EDTs, which come in the plain boxes and the clear bottles. And then there's a slightly more premium uh, upmarket Discover Intense range, which consists of uh, four fragrances. And they come in the pattern box design uh, and they have uh, like the painted glass balls. I will be giving you a brief overview of each one individually and just letting you know my thoughts on which are my favourites out of this pretty impressive collection. So to find out more, stay tuned to this episode of Mags Frags. Yes, hello again and welcome to this latest episode of Mags Frags, where it's the fragrance that's the star of the show. My name's Paul and today's all about this super little Discover collection uh, that I found on a recent shopping trip. They're all from retailer m and who have really upped the game recently and incorporated a very impressive fragrance and beauty counter into their department stores. These are all in the 30ml bottle sizes, uh, priced at just £6 each, uh, but you can also pick them up in a 100ml size bottle at just £10 each. These intense versions are slightly higher priced uh, with the 30ml bottles coming in at £7.50 and the 100ml size bottles for just £12.50 each, which I think is still pretty reasonable uh, and it's really good uh, value for money. But there was also an offer running in store last week when I purchased these where you got 20% off if you spent over £40. So I ended up paying just over £57 for all 11 bottles of these, which is pretty unbelievable to be fair. All these are also uh, vegan friendly and cruelty free and I just want to quickly point out that I'm not affiliated or sponsored by M&S in any way and I uh, don't receive a penny for talking about these products. Okay so this first one is called Smoked Oud and this contains oud, sandalwood and musk and I do like how the prominent notes are also printed on the front of the bottle which is a really nice touch. But this also includes black cherry and vanilla according to the Lifestyle Pack Shop and boy does this smell really good. It's a warm, sweet and luxurious smelling scent uh, which is ideal for the cooler months of the year. But don't let the oud note put you off this one because uh, it's not too prominent and I'd say that this is more of a fruity, sweet, almost gourmand scent uh, than it is a woody and smoky one. It's a very easy to wear, uh, easy going fragrance with a comforting aroma and it smells well more expensive than you'd expect and it's just well worth checking out uh, and it's a, a great one to start off with. Next we have spiced wood that contains the notes of apple, cinnamon, clove and sandalwood and this is definitely more fresh and tart with uh, plenty of tangy green apple up top and some gentle spiciness in there also. The sandalwood in the base is one of those softer and more mellow woody notes that smells like pencil shaving so you do get some clean woodiness in the dry down and again a really really lovely smelling musky versatile scent that you could wear all year round. The third one is called Fresh Bergamot, uh, which includes bergamot obviously, uh, but it's also got mandarin orange and sandalwood. Uh, so it is a, a fresh citrus scent, but it's also got quite a fair bit of juicy orangey sweetness in there too, as well as a, a soft woody base. And this is super refreshing and uplifting, uh, and it's a really good one for the uh, warmer months of the year. It's got a really casual summery vibe to it and it's a very pleasant and vibrant aroma that would also make for a, a pretty good gym scent. Next is spiced amber uh, which includes, you guessed it, amber as well as geranium and cedar. And again you get pretty much uh, as the name would suggest with this one, it is a spiced amber fragrance with a fair amount of bright pepperiness in the opening which blends with the resinous semi-sweet amber heart note and it dries down to a, a nice rich woody base. This is more of a, a dressed up evening scent that's a, a bit more sexy and masculine smelling. It would also be a good one to wear as a, a work scent if you uh, were to wear a nice sharp suit for your job. Okay so the fifth one is called Ocean Musk and this contains oceanic notes, neroli and musk. Yes, yeah, so no prizes for guessing that this is a fresh aquatic scent with an uplifting salty marine vibe. Uh, but there's also some neroli that brings a clean soapy shower gel type of cord. Again, just like the uh, fresh bergamot one, uh, this has a super crisp and fresh character that's perfect to wear on a hot sunny day uh, when you're just wanting something that smells sparkling and really refreshing. 
Next up, we've got Cool Vetiva, uh, which is actually the very first one that I sprayed in the shop, and this was the one that grabbed my attention first. Uh, and this one contains Vetiva, Ginger, and Musk as the most prominent notes. But it opens with uh, some bright, zesty citruses and blends with nutmeg and ginger. So you do get lots of spice and zing before it starts settling down to more of an earthy, green, grassy, uh, grassy Vetiva base. This is a great all-rounder and one that you could wear pretty much any time, day or night. And for me, it is one of the uh, standout ones in this particular lineup. And the last one in the standard range, uh, we've got black pepper, which also contains vanilla and amber. And again, this is a warm, sweet and masculine scent, sprinkled with a little bit of black pepper up top, just to give it a mild spicy kick. Again, this is along the same kind of lines as the uh, spiced amber and also the spiced wood that I spoke about a bit earlier. And uh, the, these are the kind of ones where you could just wear them every day as like a, an everyday daily driver. They're not too sweet and they're not too fresh. But the highlights for me in this standard lineup are the smoked oud and also the cool vetiva. And these two are extremely good, uh, although I can honestly say that I enjoy them all and there's not really a bad one amongst them. The performance on all of these are okay and you will get a couple of hours maximum out of them but I'm not going to pretend these are super long lasting. These are great for just like keeping in your drawer at work or storing in the centre console of your car and giving yourself a little quick blast every now and again when you need it. The darker ones like the smoked oud, the spiced amber and the spiced wood do last a little bit longer than the fresher ones but that's kind of the case what you get even with expensive fragrances. You can pick all seven of these up for just £42, even without uh, any in-store discount. So they'd be a great little buy to pick up for someone as a gift um, so that they can wear a different scent every day of the week. I also get asked quite often to recommend something for teenagers uh, that are just kind of just starting to get into wearing fragrances. And I think this range would be an absolutely great little starter kit. Okay, so it's now time to take a look at the slightly more premium Discover Intense collection, starting with this one called Blue Samphire and Cassis, uh, which is a fresh and fruity scent with a slightly aquatic opening. It's bright and refreshing with citruses and black currant grabbing your attention instantly after the initial spray before it starts to transition into more of a sweet ambery aroma. You will get a bit of mild woodiness in the far dry down, but for the most part this is a sweet fruity aroma that has a lovely little casual summery vibe about it and I absolutely really adore this one, it's uh, really nice and pleasant. Okay, next up is one called Soft Bergamot and Musk, and this is a very light, bright and somewhat delicate scent uh, that's really easy going and clean smelling. But the only issue with this one is that it's gone in less than an hour once that tart, zesty bergamot from the opening fades. And you're, all you're left with is like a faint musky smell and a hint of watermelon, uh, which is nice, but out of all 11 of these, I'd say that this is the weak, weakest performer, even though it smells lovely for the, uh, for the short time that it's around. But uh, yeah, definitely the weakest one of the bunch. Okay, so the third one in this intense series is called Fresh Citrus and Moss, uh, which again just does what it says on the tin, and it's uh, it's a super bright effervescent scent with an eye-wateringly zesty lemon up top, which sits on a, a bed of green earthy moss and lavender. And this is by far the freshest and the most clean one out of the whole series, in my opinion. It's one to wear on the hottest of summer days when you want the ultimate lemony freshness, and the lemon in this has just got this real fizziness about it, and it's uh, really enjoyable. And last but not least, and wrapping up the entire collection, is Wild Amber and Mandarin, which is another sweet and fruity scent, but this time the Mandarin does pack a real punch, and it jumps out at you straight away after the initial spray, and it lingers around for quite a while. There's also amber, rosemary and cedar wood in this one which brings some green earthiness to the background so it is like smelling freshly picked mandarins that still have the leaves on them and, the, and the kind of still in their wooden crates you just get that little bit of woodiness and the green leaves as well in this one so that's a very very enjoyable one. Okay, so just a quick summary. The intense range is based more around fresh citrusy fragrances that I would normally associate with the warmer months of the year. And it would have been nice to have had a couple of warmer ones included with maybe tobacco or leather dominant scent profiles. 
but you can tell that there's some slightly higher quality ingredients that have gone into these uh, and they are a slight step up from the standard ones but out of all 11 I'd still go for the smoked oud and also the cool vetiver as my top two uh, with maybe the wild uh, amber and mandarin from the intense lineup as a, a third option but overall this is a really fun and great value range that I'd highly recommend to anyone on a tighter budget so next time you're out shopping get, pop into uh, Marks and Spencers and give these a little blast and uh, also let me let me know what you think of them Okay, so that's about it for this quick little exclusive first look at this Discover line of fragrances for men from Marks and & Spencer. And fellas, there is also a complete women's lineup in the exact same range with some really interesting looking ones. So with Christmas coming up just around the corner, they might be worth uh, just checking out and having a look at. And as always, if you've uh, enjoyed this episode and you found the content that I produce uh, useful, then don't forget to uh, give it a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, I'm going to have to end up making my own little wall plaque just to pretend that people actually like my channel. Uh, but seriously, I do try to bring different and unique content to uh, what all the other fragrance channels are talking about. So if you do like discovering new stuff like this, then uh, definitely check out the Mags Frags channel more often because it is the place to be. So until next time, Time. Stay safe, keep smelling fresh, and I'll see you very soon for another one. Bye bye for now.